This is Twit. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. 8888 Ask Leo. That's the phone number. Edwy's on the line from Vista, California. Hello, Edwy. Hi, how are you doing, Leo? I am great. How are you? Yeah, I'm trying to set up a Raspberry Pi 3 as a file server or a uh, cloud. Wow. Yeah. So uh, the Raspberry Pi 3 is a very inexpensive $35 a uh, computer running an ARM chip, and it's got Wi-Fi built in, Ethernet built in. It's got HDMI. It's actually a great kind of experimental computer. I recommend it to parents whose kids say, I want a computer. Okay, kid, have this. <laughs> and learn to program. because, <laughs> And it runs a, you know, a variety of different operating systems. When you first get it, you have a little switcher, a little chooser on there that lets you choose. And most people run what's called Raspbian which is a Raspberry Pi-specific version of the Debian Linux operating system. But there are um, network-attached storage operating systems you can run on Raspberry Pi, including, I believe, NextCloud. What have you been trying? Own Cloud. Yeah, Own Cloud. Isn't there an Own Cloud? NextCloud is kind of Own Cloud, but they had a they forked, they had a schism in the open source community, and uh, NextCloud is... <laughs> Is basically the same. Is there not an own cloud uh, Raspberry Pi distribution? There is, and I've done all that, and I can't get it to go to the website that it created on my Raspberry Pi. Ah, so your Raspberry Pi is on your personal network, right? Right. Your home network. And you're sitting right. on your home network trying to get to the Raspberry Pi. This is really a common issue. Um, the easiest way would be to figure out what the IP address of your Raspberry Pi is. Can you do that? Do you know how to do that? Yeah, I've done that. And, and then remember that the that own cloud comes in on a non-standard port, I think. Not port 80, which is the web browsing port. So you'll have to know, you have to figure out what your own cloud port is and add that to the address. So your address for your Raspberry Pi 192.168.1.24 colon and then whatever the uh, the port number is for the next cloud and I know or the own cloud I don't remember what that is. Do you have a dedicated port when you set it up? I have port 21 dedicated. Don't use 21. Okay. <laughs> That's probably your problem. Use a higher okay. number. All those numbers under 1024 are pretty much occupied. Those are what we call the canonic, canonical ports. And there are services on all of them. 21, I'm trying to remember, is I think SMTP. I can't remember what it is. No, that's 25. But make it a, something over 1024. Okay, we could do that. Yeah. And I think that the other issue might be your router.Ometimes routers get finicky about Yeah, 21 is Telnet. That's what it is. So you don't want to use the Telnet port. Uh, you want to, or is it FTP? And we got the chat rooms f fighting over this. Well, so, FTP. Yeah, it's FTP. So don't use the FTP port. You want to use, uh, you know, 8000 or something. So a lot of people use 8080 because that's like the browsing port, 8000. I mean, sorry, 80, but it's, uh, it's a little higher up. Tell them it's 22, right. 21 is FTP, and that makes sense. So you probably don't want to use anything under 1,024. You may okay. check your browser and your router to see, you make sure it's it's blocking. And ultimately, if you want to access that file server from the outside world, you're going to do something called port forwarding. That's why you want to use a high, level, high number dedicated port, because then you can port forward. You could say, hey, router, if any traffic comes in on port 8080, Route that over to that Raspberry Pi there, because that's that's special. So I th I suspect, but that using a port number under ten twenty four is your problem. I'm not. I'm looking at um, setting up own cloud on a Raspberry Pi. Uh, normally, uh, you can do it via port eighty, via the web browsing port. You'd go to one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot twenty four slash own cloud. So I would just I would look at the uh, the instructions. See what you know. Don't map it to port twenty one for sure. Map it to some other higher level port. They'll recommend a port probably. There's probably a standard port used for Raspberry Pi. It's not the it's not the Raspberry Pi and it's not the own cloud that's the issue. It's you know all of this networking stuff. But this is part of the fun of doing this for yourself, right? 
uh, you learn a lot about how all this thing, how these things work. I'm running uh, not on a. I started on a Raspberry Pi because it's easy and it's cheap. I ran a Minecraft server on it, but I wanted more people to get in there. And you know, the only disadvantage of a Raspberry Pi is not a very fast processor. So I ended up buying just a little cheap Intel NUC. They call them. They're little hockey puck size uh, computers. And I run uh, three Minecraft servers on there. And the trick on that is just, you know, you have to use a dedicated port and tell your router, hey, if any traffic comes in on 25565, that's kind of the typical Minecraft server port, uh, that's Minecraft traffic. Go over to the, send that over to the NUC. But do remember, when you do that, you're opening, in effect, opening a hole in your firewall. Your router is a firewall. The way the router, the router sits on the internet, you know, it's connected to your cable modem, your DSL modem. And if somebody tries to get into your home network, the router looks at it and goes, I don't know. Who are you? What do you want? Go, it just bounces it. And that's what you want. What you got to be very careful if you start opening ports because then the router will go, oh, you want to get to my server. Okay. And it will route you through. That means you've got to make sure you're running a secure server because somebody is now into your network. So unless you know what you're doing, I would say probably not a good idea to open up your network attached storage, your file server, your Minecraft server to the outside world until you really feel comfortable with all this and you know you can keep it secure. Uh, and there are ways to do that, you know, run, run a second router and that kind of thing. 8888 Ask Leo that. We got fancy on that one. That's a, fan, that's a, fa that's a geeky subject. I put on my pocket protector for that one. 